Also, since I'm going to be gaining a lot of land soon, I might want to increase my centralization, which I can do in 857. Uh, feudal vassal opinion sounds like a good thing to focus on right now. Train troops. Um, improve religious relations in Rome. All right, so we're making progress now. Also, uh, inheritance. Probably want to give it to someone younger. God, he has terrible stewardship. She's a legitimized bastard. All right, I'm gonna nominate. I'm gonna nominate Gwencore. Um, and I'm actually going to... Is she not my religion and culture? I'm going to educate her personally. As you replace your training dummy with a real person, you find that facing an intelligent enemy is a lot harder, but also more rewarding. After many bruises and cuts, it's clear that you've gained experience and have a better control of f fight than ever before. Plus one to personal combat skill. Your ability to take down any man in a brawl is widely... Renown. I don't think that you can use Renown in that way, but maybe it's an older construction. Many speak of your prowess and how it would be unwise to pick a fight with you. Feels good to be recognized. We got a lot of prestige coming in here. Look at this jerk face. Jerk face, jerk facington. My marshal has died of smallpox. So, we obviously need a new marshal. Uh, yeah, I'll give it... I, I like to give my marshal to, like, somebody who's not one of the best people, one of the best fighters in the realm, as long as they have a decent marshal stat, because... I want them to be able to train troops while the people who are actually better commanders than them are leading my armies. So that's a little... There's a there's a tip for you. Crusader King's pro tip. Alright! We have a claim. Making a bookmark save. I don't think they have any allies because they're newly independent. Yeah. <laughs> His spouse. Uh, what a joke! And I will start fabricating a claim here, just in case we need it at some point for some reason. And we're going to declare war on Ternelug. Is that Ternelug? Is that close? Am I at all close? Ternelug is how I would guess that that is pronounced based on my extremely rudimentary understanding of Welsh. Um... Yeah, I'll go into battle. It's a little risky. But Arthur was legendarily a warrior king. Whoever he was, I mean, the what record we have of the Arthur figure, um, awesome, I became patient, is basically a line saying how much of a badass warrior he was. So, Battle of Radnor. Is that like Josh Radnor, like the guy from... Uh, How I Met Your Mother, is that where his family's from? Probably is, actually. I never knew he was Welsh. Or of Welsh descent. Alright. Gwynert lacks a childhood focus. I keep hitting the marriage button, I don't know why. Struggle. You will learn the struggle. The struggle guides us well through the ages. Yeah, this is this is a joke war, so we're just going to put it on speed 5. Uh, I've lost the patient trait. I was patient for a little while, but then I lost my patience for being patient, and now I'm no longer patient. So what, what I would like is for Wales to be my domain, for the most part. Uh, it's under the arrest. And then I think I'll just, like, let Ireland, like the Lords of Ireland, be my vassals. I'll let them retain some local autonomy. It 
History is a subject that has always fascinated me, and I've spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great. There are many lessons to be learned. Uh, Marshall plus one. How old am I now? 61. Smallpox spreads across the sea. It seems that plunder and slaves are not the only thing the Aztec sailors have brought back with them to their own shores. Rumors have trickled back to the old world, telling stories of smallpox pandemics sweeping across the Aztec Empire and its neighbors. The streets and alleys of Tenochtitlan are said to be littered with the dead and dying. And the Aztec Emperor has commanded the, er, commanded the immediate execution of all slaves and prisoners captured on the Great Eastern Continent in an effort to stem the spread of the disease. Perhaps there is some justice in this world after all. How are they doing, by the way? They haven't really converted very many provinces to the Aztec religion, nor to Aztec culture. Uh, it's still very much a ruling elite of Aztecs, ruling over a culturally and religiously distinct European uh, and Andalusian populace. Uh, this is my courtier who had some pretty good stats. She died of the great pox. And was a lunatic. Oh, clutching at her heart. So she probably actually died of a heart attack. Don't know if the great pox had anything to do with that. Don't really know how a pox would cause you to have a heart attack. But hey. I'm, I'm no doctor. I'm just a badass warrior king. Enforcing demands. Standing down. We now have contiguous... Territory in Wales. I can now create the Kingdom of Wales. And I'm going to do so. The Kingdom of Kembra. Actually, I came up with a better name for this. I'm gonna pause real quick because I had I I I, pull, I had an idea of what I was actually gonna call the kingdom. And I need to find it real quick. Okay, so based on my research, you can you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but according to what I found, the name for the Isle of Britain in Cornish is just Breton, B-R-E-T-E-N, and uh, I'm going to use this same for the adjective. So the Kingdom of Breton has been formed at last. Um, successor nomination. Do we have... Magnetic, Cognitic, Tanistry. Alright, so we want... Where was the genius that I wanted to nominate? Is she not eligible? There she is, Gwyncor. Still my nominee. Um, we now have some new laws. Our crown laws. Um, investiture... We can have free or um, papal. I'm going to leave it on papal investiture. If you want to know why, go read up about the investiture con uh, controversy and why it ruined Germany up until the 1800s. Um, controlled realm inheritance. Uh, can no longer pass outside the realm through inheritance. That'll be nice to have eventually, but I'm not worried about it now. Um, what I am going to do... Yeah, what I am going to do is raised by centralization a little bit because when I take these counties I want to revoke them from their original owners and uh, not worry about having a bunch of vassals all of a sudden who are angry with me. Oh, okay. I can go ahead and 
Switch that to illegal. Cool. And since I don't need claims on any of the Breton provinces anymore, I can start fabricating claims on the Saxons. Unfortunately, I don't have a Purge the Saxons CB. I kind of thought about modding that in. Like, if you're of the Arthurian dynasty, you can immediately go to war with any Saxons who held hold, uh, hold uh, land on the island of Britain. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to declare war, jure claim, on this place. Let's make sure she doesn't have any powerful allies. I don't think she does. Declare war. Raise all our troops. March. So I'm the first king of what will one day be the restored Celtic Britain. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really thinking we'll just stick with Tanistry, at least for the, you know, foreseeable future. Primogeniture has its advantages, but I think Tanistry is flavorful, it's different, and uh, doesn't have really any significant disadvantages that I'm too worried about. As long as someone in our dynasty who is competent inherits, I think we're in good shape. The other thing is now that I'm properly king rank, um, really... You want to kill me? We'll, uh, we'll be treated as a higher rank for a lot of useful purposes. Um, also, I'm going to destroy this title. Because I don't need it. And it's just going to create wonky opportunities for <laughs> suboptimal inheritances and things like that. I'm sorry I said dookie again. That's how I pronounced it for years until someone told me it was duchy. Which I still don't think makes any sense, but... Sounds like someone was, like, boiled alive or something, so that's delightful. Devin is still booming, so I'm, I feel pretty good about that. We haven't gotten the event to get a new holding slot again. The last time we got it, we weren't able to afford it because we were in a fight for our lives. All right. Oh, she does become my vassal. Uh, revoke title. County of Hereford. Oh, we have a truce, and I don't have... I don't have the revoke title law allowed. Dang it. Okay, well. <laughs> I now have a count level vassal who does not like me. Uh, my cousin. Her stats aren't good enough. It's not appropriate. <laughs> she had better stats. Yeah, sure. But Alright, stand down. Um, I believe we can declare war on this guy now. I don't know why we can't press all claims, but we'll at least pr press, our pl press our claim for Gwyneth. He is allied to the Prince of Francia, who does not actually himself own any land, so we're not really in danger of having the Franks on our asses. So let's do it. Reclaim the land that once belonged to Arthur himself. Yeah, let's group up our army first. They have enough troops that I would be worried about uh, taking them on without reinforcements. Odnolf, Arscott, this dude. I think they're going to be attacking us across disfavorable terrain too, yeah. So that'll work out in our favor. Once the reinforcements show up, we're going to have a notable edge. is the last true challenge to our power over all of the uh, Britonic peoples here. This is the petty kingdom of Gwyneth. My wife, Melisanda. It's almost Melisandra. 
She's a genius. She's a bastard. Oh yeah, she's yeah she that she that French uh, French woman that I invited to court. Didn't remember who she was for a second there. Just if she if she gets any ideas about burning our children alive, I think I'm gonna have to tell her to hit the road. All right, I think this is a joke war at this point, so I'm gonna put it on speed five. Oh, my steward has died. Who wants it? You want it really bad, but this guy's way better at his job, so. The old wound is finally healed. Wow, that took a long time to heal. I now have a scar. Scars are awesome. Scars are hardcore. Something's going on. There's a revolt in Northumbria. think they, their castle will fall before our castle does. So we don't need to go relieve the siege yet. And I know that holding more titles will increase my prestige, but I'd rather just not have the headache. I try to hold as few high-level titles as possible. Like, ideally, I want to have one kingdom, one empire, one duchy, and then however many counties I can have, and then destroy everything else. That's my general strategy. I have a genius daughter! Yes! Make her struggle. Seems like the, uh, the better parts of this gene pool are expressing in the X chromosome. We've had a lot of genius daughters born and not a lot of uh, competent uh, males. Oh, good for you. All right. Raiders have arrived in Devon. They don't have enough men to take the city, so I don't know who they're kidding. After many months studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great, you've acquired many fascinating insights and gained new wisdom in military matters. You realize the art of war might be well worth studying. Awesome. Plus one marshal and plus one stewardship. Still haven't gotten rid of the Craven trait. Can recruit a new court physician. Hope I don't have to wait long. I'm an older dude. Do I have someone that's eligible? Yeah, he's not good enough. We can do better. Shortly after you spread the word of secreting the employ of a court physician, a Jewish exile appeared at your court. The exile introduced himself as... I think that's just pronounced Aaron, isn't it? Isn't that just like the Ashkenazi Jewish spelling of Aaron? I think it is, anyway. Of Sindor, and explained that he'd served as a physician to many rulers before and such offers his services in return for fair pay. Yeah, I'll accept your offer. He wants a little much considering he only has a learning skill of 12, but uh, I, I find that acceptable. All right. Let's wrap this war up. I captured some guy. He's he's like a monk and a pilgrim, so he's he's a pretty uh pretty high status dude it seems like. <coughs> It'd be nice if we could get some prosperity going across our uh, non-capital areas again. But I don't want to remove my crown focus until um, we get max holding slots in our capital. So that is the end of that war. Um, his predecessors had far less <laughs> luck uh, uniting the Britons, but it seems that uh, King Harscott Son of Mordred, grandson of Ar Arthur the Bear, who, by the way, is not called a king anymore now that <laughs> now that we have a higher level kingdom title, the petty kings have been renamed to dukes. But they were kings in their own time. At, at the grand old age of 64 has mostly united 
the de jure lands of Wales. There's still some Welsh people we need to save up in the old... Uh, up in the Clyde here. And then we will begin pushing the Saxons back. Uh, it's where they belong in Saxony. Down here somewhere. <laughs> which is now ruled by a Carling, which is kind of funny. Um, and that will do it for this session. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Is this a Viking? Was this taken over by a Viking? Oh no, that's still the Celtic spelling of Dublin. Yeah, like and subscribe. Check out loresworn.com. We're at Loresworn Order on Twitter. I'm at AsaTJ. That's A S A T J. And there will be much more of the exploits of the Arthurian dynasty to come. Many more exploits, I guess, would be the correct grammar there.